how to add the fish eye effect or the people effect to your video in the winch resort let's get started first thing you have to do is go from the edit page to the fusion page don't worry it's a pretty simple process click on the media in node press shift space on your keyboard and search for tent hit enter and there we have it a tent node next thing go to the inspector and here in type switch from dent 1 to dent 2 now if i reduce the strength from 1 to 0 this is how the normal footage looks like right but we want a magnified effect in the center for the fisheye effect so what we are going to do is we are going to increase the strength like this and now if i play the clip all the center parts are magnified you can increase or decrease it based on your creative preferences but this is how much i'm going to go with next thing is we are going to increase the size of the dent so either click on this and increase it or you can increase it from the parameters like this you can add the dent for the whole video but i'm going to go with only this much so now we have added the dent next part is to get the fisheye look we want to focus on the center and not this background so we are going to black it out how to do that click on the dent node and click on this background node right here the first one and as you can see the whole screen went black what's happening is we have added the background node but it's covering our main footage so what we are going to do is we are going to add a circular mask to it how to do it bring in this little ellipse so bring it right here and connect it to the background node and as you can see a black circle is here but we want the black color on the outside right so click on the ellipse and hit invert it went outside now all you have to do is increase the size of this ellipse like this which is similar to the dent and there we have it now if i play the video you've got the fisheye effect so that's basically how you can create the fisheye effect that was the first part second part is how to create the peephole effect now you'll ask me what's the difference between both of these so the fisheye effect is much cleaner like this but the peephole effect to bring much more realism to it if you watch out of your door the peephole of your door what happens is the center part is focused and the background edges are blurred so we are going to add the blur intentionally by ourselves right so this is the fisheye effect to create the peephole effect the process till now is exactly the same but let's go further ahead to make it into the peephole effect so first thing that you have to do is click on this ellipse right here that we added at the end and increase the soft edge like this this much is enough now if you look at the video this is how an actual peephole looks like right the edges are not that sharp they are blurred next we are going to add even more intentional blur to the background right here at the end of the edges how to do it click on the merge node press shift space on your keyboard and search for blur hit enter and the blur node is added now if i view it here and increase the size of the blur the whole footage is getting blurred and we don't want that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to add an ellipse mask to the blur and only the center is getting blurred but we want it at the edges so what we're going to do is select the ellipse hit on invert and it goes outside and then increase the size of the ellipse so it only gets applied to the edges but it's still a bit sharp right we don't want to see this line so what we're going to do is select the ellipse and increase the soft edge like we did before and now if you see at the video if i zoom it in and if i select the blur node and disable it this was the original footage and this is after we have added the intentional blur you can increase it or decrease it totally up to your creative preferences but that is how it will look now we are almost done with the peephole effect you if you want you can go ahead with this as well but you can add even one more realistic touch to it which is adding the prism blur what it does let me show you click on the blur effect hit shift space on your keyboard and add prism blur hit enter and now if i increase the aberration strength of it and see this little node what happened is everything got split into this rgb kind of effect right if i disable it and enable it you can see the difference now what happens here is we don't want this effect for the whole video we want it again just like before on the edges of the circle so how to do it again same process add an ellipse to it increase the size of the ellipse invert it and add soft edge and that's basically it now if i zoom into the video and select prism blur and disable it see there's no rgb split but if i enable it it got a little greenish touch to it so that's basically it that's how you can add the peephole effect as well it looks much more realistic this time and now if i play the clip see you've got the peephole effect somewhere out of your door is acting like this with the pigeon I don't know man, just you can create this effect like this. So that's pretty much it for the video guys. That's how you can add the fisheye effect and the peephole effect to your video. Two different processes but very similar to each other. And that's basically it for the video. I hope you guys find this video useful and if you do, make sure you like the video. It really helps the algorithm suggest this video to the needful people.
Also share this video with your friends and consider subscribing to the channel. I post such kind of DaVinci Resolve tutorials, how to tech videos, tech reviews, I stream games occasionally and I post some knowledgeable and informative YouTube shorts. So that brings us to the end of the video guys. Thank you for watching the video. I'll see you all next time. Bye bye.